hello Ritterburn here, aka Odamas, creator of Impacor.blogspot.com, and this is part 6 of our Let's Play Torchlight 2 HD series. So, resuming. So, pausing here, so I won't bore you with the loading screen. Okay, we are back, and we've just uh, rescued the uh, Guardian of the Water and met up. Everything with okay? I thought you were going out to the Watchworld Temple to look for the Grand Regent. Who actually is the, the vanquisher in the first Starchlight too. Um, in the first Starchlight, I mean, sorry about that. Um, if you remember, there there were three classes in the first game. The um, the melee, that was the destroyer, the mage, the alchemist, and this lass here, who was the ADR of the game. So I didn't know she had... Uh, she had a name. You know, it would have been cool if Arunic Games made it so that whatever you named your Vanquisher in the first game, it would pop up here. But anyway, enough with the nitpicking. So let's go fish. Let's fish. Let's get uh, five fish and then we'll be on our way just to replenish what we have. Tunnel sharks were common in the first game, so they made a comeback here in the sequel. Also this webfish transforms your pet to a borrower and a spider respectively. Also this one is Manic Marine. You know, it would, have, it would have been a whole lot better if they had this uh, built-in in-game fish wiki where players could, you know, um, read the stats of the monsters your pet transforms into, into and you feed it uh, a specific fish because, you know, um, the tooltips are in that informative. It's just wishful thinking on my part. Maybe a big game could insert this into another in another patch, in a future patch. You know, I should go back I should go to the forums and I suggest this. So uh, this new Torchlight 2 Let's Play has been made possible by the suggestion of Waffletronics. Um, he's a running games forums member, so, and he suggested that I should just... I could cross here! Thank you, Tinker Fang! Welcome, friend! Okay, so the goblins, the goblins have made their appearance. So we can now recover gems. So we can now sell the items. Did you need something? Did you need something?
Okay, so I think we'll just have to sell these ghastly items because uh, they're now so obsolete. I mean, two physical armor. Even if I complete the ghastly set, uh, damage taken reduced. Damage taken is reduced by 10%. That's not going to cut it. This one I can still use. Okay, so. Recover the gems, you forgot about these. Do you need something? Okay. So let's go to the armor. So yes. Stop. to buy any items or I mean no. we're not going to buy any weapons because we've got this one so we'll just wait for level uh, 19 and save up cash rather than spend spend more again you know we've got a nice nifty massive war hammer waiting for us in level 19 so it's useless to It'll just be a waste of cash to buy a better one. Percent attack speed. Okay, this is good enough. Choices, choices. This has 22 physical armor plus socket, three strength plus 37 health. I think I'll pick this one. items I'm going to ditch that uh, shoulder pad
better by one physical armor. Taking these. So you could just sell this one, it's useless now. Kind of low on flame armor. So I'll equip this. Should increase, right? Yep. assist you. I 
still cannot understand why they haven't. Really put a boss feature on the game. It would have been so awesome taking screenshots while monsters are wailing at wailing away at you. So going. Uh pausing here, just so I won't bore you with the loading screen. Okay. Glad you made it. as kind of indicators that I haven't been there while I go off and gallivant across the map and see if there you know um, levels uh, chambers Okay, so I think that was a secret pathway right there. Check it out. Ah, dang. still prefer the one I have equipped because uh, that's 20 health could be useful when you know you're dying and gives you more time to go off a potion Huh! <laughs> 
team. Nah. your help. Received a quest. I need your help. Okay, going in, passing here. We've descended the stairs. Activating <laughs> the bot. Okay, level up. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
got our ace in our sleeve passive skill, coup de gras. So every time I hit a stun target, the electrical surge helps finish the bow off. Okay, three times my strength. That's plus 192 electric damage. That's very, very powerful. Okay, so that passive plus my skills, which are geared towards stunning enemies. for a very high damage output. So aging another heating bond because I don't know the summons duration. Let's check. Uh, healing bot. So it doesn't say. Healing pulls every 12 seconds, radius 8 meters, mana cost 25, cooldown 10 seconds. Yep, it doesn't say. Tab, right click on the scroll, or gain a new ability. Okay, so let's see what we've picked up. Twelve ice armor, six. Shield. Um, 
going to equip any shield, so I'll just sell this. I wonder where we can buy spell scrolls. Just electric armor. Ah. So I'll pick this one instead. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it very much. I'm new to this YouTube thing. So, you know, um, helping me out would really help me out. I've also got uh, Black Mesa Dark Siders too. XCOM. Let's play on my channel. Check it out if you have the time, if you're interested. And I've also... You can also check out my website. Uh, I regularly post how-tos, tweak guides, and reviews of retail and freeware games alike there. There's an NPC, but um, we'll see what this goes for. Starting to really like this Rudy Gras thing. 
So if, if you want to comment on my build, please leave a comment below. Because you know, um, I could be wrong in building up my engineer. Whoa, 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 plus 8 vitality attribute. Statistics 85, but if but if I equip this, it's going to go up by a single point. So yeah, it's more, it's better. So I'm going to sell this one. Give it to Tinker Fang for the familiar to sell at the town. Me? I was traveling with the Grand Regent to the Watchwheel Temple when we became separated. I was hoping to rejoin him at the temple, but the doors had been sealed behind him. He was very ill when I last saw him. I think he might have contracted the same sickness affecting the other Astherians. I was planning to enter the Watchwheel through the other portal in the old Estherian Refuge. Unfortunately, the keys have been stolen. Goblin miners took one, and we believe that some slavers who recently moved into the area have the other. It takes both keys to activate the Watchwheel portal, and it is beyond my abilities to retrieve them. Recover the pass key ember from the slavers, and the latch key ember from the goblins. You can use them to open the portal in the refuge and intercept the regent before he infects the guardian. So let me guess, we won't be able to save the regent. Anyway, um, I've just you have received a quest. that we've already um, gone over our 20 minute mark, so I'm ending this clip. From the symptoms I observed, the Grand Regent has definitely contracted the illness. He insisted on pushing on you in boss fight. Guardian's welfare is more important. But if this sickness is instead some form of magical corruption, then the Grand Regent is taking it directly to the Guardian. So, um, this, this has been Ildamas, aka Retroburn, creator of Impacord at blogspot.com, and you've just seen part six of our Let's Play Torchlight 2 HD series. So see you in part 7, happy gaming guys.